My Good. name is Samantha Roberts, and I'm an educationist, a researcher and a fine artist, and I'm based at the University of Wales, Trinity St David. The presentation reflects on a Level 5 professional practice module delivered to undergraduates at UWTSD in September 2019. This is set in the context of European funding for developing entrepreneurial provision, uh, and we're focusing on this in the context of art and science students. The Arts and Humanities Entrepreneurship Hubs Project, otherwise known as AHA, is a three-year initiative co-funded by the European Erasmus Plus programme. This aim is to improve the long-term prospects of arts and humanities graduates, equipping them with the tools and confidence that they need to succeed. The project brings together a partnership of 14 organisations from seven European countries from the worlds of academia and enterprise. Staff and students from across the UWTSD Arts and Humanities Faculties Complete Consortium. The project has collated the following initiatives designed to improve the entrepreneurial capacity of arts and humanities students. A network of associate partners, demonstrated by the map. Research and development of training materials and programmes. Pilot testing, EU and national. Open source online platform. Student exchanges, a conference. The Swansea-based UK National Pilot of the AHA Training Project encapsulates the first three of those initiatives, a network of associate partners, research and development of training materials and programmes, and a national pilot tester. An initial report by the AHA Project employed a multi-method research methodology that identified perceived gaps in the provision of enterprise education specifically aligned to the needs and interests of arts and humanities students. The AHA project provides strategies and resources to identify current gaps in the provision of entrepreneurial skills in art and design education. Key findings of the AHA research included confirmation that entrepreneurial education for artists has become somewhat alien to art and design education. The scarcity of provision is specific to the arts and humanities and has been compounded by the fact that arts and humanities students often view entrepreneurship as divergent from their own creativity. Subsequently, they are less likely to consider setting up their own business or view employment as a means to support non-commercial art practice via a portfolio career. Typically, students are more likely to appreciate the value of enterprise education retrospectively after they've graduated. The language routinely used by entrepreneurial education, including the terms entrepreneurship and enterprise, can be problematic as they carry associations of business which is not always perceived by art and design students to be relevant to their interests and specialisms. Arts and humanities course content has been more traditionally associated with philosophical and creative development. The primacy of art and design education as a philosophical and cerebral study, rather than vocational, was a central and pervasive impetus in the development of Western academic art academies. This was strengthened by the integration of the vocationally driven British art colleges into the university based institutional structures. Catherine Penaluna, Associate Professor in Enterprise Education at UWTSD, comments Data that came to light as recently as the International Enterprise Educators Conference in Oxford, UK, confirms just how much creative industries relies on freelancers and those who can work in micro businesses. Likewise, all businesses need creative capacity to innovate and communicate concepts and creations. Entrepreneurship education is an essential element of learning to be successful in this environment, and without it, our students may well find themselves struggling to adapt. Being creative is an advantage as new ideas emerge and problems can be solved in unexpected ways. Harnessing that creativity is what enterprise is all about. This paper does not posit that AHG courses that are philosophically driven are problematic. To the contrary, as the case study presented demonstrates, conceptual and creative thinking are core skills in the development of entrepreneurial competencies. However, perceived dichotomies between the arts and entrepreneurship or arts and business can be questioned, addressed and dismantled through this kind of tailored and relevant enterprise education initiative. At a time when there's an emerging emphasis in universities from the primacy of philosophical inquiry towards more holistic education that develops and supports the employability of students, this research is timely. With students in the UK now paying high fees to study at higher education, there's a sharper interest in the student cohort reflected in media reports in how their arts education will prepare them for their future careers. Moreover, in current times, the creative industries substantially contribute to national economies. 
Current HE priorities necessitate the development of autonomous artistic practice is supported with and underpinned by teaching and learning provisions that explore the vocational and entrepreneurial potential of art and design education. This innately connects the development of abstract conceptual and philosophical inquiry with practical training and craft and design-based skills. September 2019 saw an ambitious and exciting launch of the new professional practice module for all Level 5 Art and Science students where the activities of the AHA project were integrated into the curriculum at Swansea College of Art UWTSD. Stage 1 of this module involved a week-long series of presentations and workshops delivered to students across the faculty by the interdisciplinary teams of educators, practitioners and researchers from across Europe. This was supported by local enterprises and staff at Swansea College of Art who delivered the component in partnership with colleagues from a local social enterprise-based business, Coastal Hauser. Participating students consisted of the entire Year 2 undergraduate cohort at Swansea College of Art, UWTSD. This incorporated a range of subject-specific areas, including, but not limited to, fine art, photography, illustrations, such as pattern, automotive and transport design, project design and computer games design. Student voices were crucial to the development of this training programme with initiatives developed by AHA in response to feedback from current students and graduates from across the European regions who identified and articulated their training needs. Using the framework of a problem-based curricula, students were presented with a series of challenges to respond to within interdisciplinary teams. The challenge forms were posed by a range of interdisciplinary external contributors and afforded students opportunities to consider issues related to the social and cultural context of their urban infrastructure while affording the opportunity to reflect on the benefits of participating in learning and interdisciplinary collaboration. The open-ended challenges enable students to respond in a variety of ways. It was envisaged that the outcomes could be an awareness raising campaign, a service, an event such as a festival, or an exhibition, or a product or artefact. Similarly, it was intended that the outcomes could be cultural, social or commercial. This approach was designed to reflect the differing areas of emerging expertise in the students, as well as the differing motivations and personal values held by the participants. The challenge films were posed by a wide range of interdisciplinary external contributors who came from the worlds of film and TV, theatre and performance, a European cultural capital, a health board, furniture designer and manufacturer, arts organisations, a housing association, European academics, independent artists, policy makers, and third sector charities. The challenges were designed to be a hook on which the interdisciplinary student teams could hang their project ideas. To support their response to their chosen challenge, students were introduced to a wide range of subject and skills development areas, including team building, ideation, marketing, communication and social media, the art and science of pitching, funding, IP, budgeting and costing, understanding different types of enterprises, as well as all aspects of project planning. The project culminated in a live pitch event where student teams presented their project idea, outlined its relevance, feasibility and value to their peers and to selected academic and industry-based mentors. The evaluation of the module in the context of this paper will focus on the results of the pilot in relation to its aim of improving the entrepreneurial capacity of art and design students with a particular reference to entrepreneurial competencies as identified by the Entrecom framework and strategies identified in the AHA Literature Review as effective in developing enterprise employability and entrepreneurship in arts and humanities students. Alison Frank, lecturer in performing arts at Swansea College of Art UWTSD, explained the value of the module to her students. We know the importance of our students being fully prepared for the creative industries. Our new professional practice modules are seminal to the students' development as it empowers and enables them to develop their own agency as artists, collaborators and project leaders, giving them the opportunities to build confidence, resilience and have their voices heard as emerging artists in an, in an exciting but competitive sector. In the first instance, the project afforded students the opportunity of working out how to do business in the context of solving real-world business problems. The project offered new spaces for cooperation with the business sector and help develop a more personalised and invested relationship between some of the business partners and students. Some business mentors offered follow-on opportunities for students who'd impressed them with their engagement and responses to the external challenges. Adam West from Coastal Housing commented, Being involved in the AHA project has raised Coastal's profile and credibility as an organisation which supports new and local businesses. 
as well as giving Coastal a greater understanding of the needs and issues facing nascent businesses. Coastal has been given the opportunity to reflect upon its role in supporting locally based entrepreneurs and consider how we can do better in the future. While typically art education helps students develop their own individual practice, on this project the students have the opportunity to specialise in particular aspects of their art while experiencing at first hand the benefits and difficulties of teamwork and collaborative practice. In one group it was noted that a student who suffers with mental health issues and had been reluctant to attend the sessions was offered exceptional peer-to-peer -peer support by her challenge team. The student's skills and her specialist expertise were recognised and valued by the group. This boosted their confidence and participation which was reflected in the grade they achieved. Others, including high performing students, appeared to struggle with mixed ability team dynamics, but performed well in the more heavily weighted part two of the module which related to personal practice. This underpins the need for art and design students to build their experience and confidence in teamwork as this is identified as a key entrepreneurial skill in the entrepreneurial framework. Team dynamics aside, the opportunity to network and to work with students in different courses, to copy, adopt, assimilate and develop ideas from within communities of practice was one of the most valued outcomes of the AHA project voiced by the students involved. This was evidence through written comments submitted as formative feedback at the project's conclusion and discussed with mentors during the sessions. In some instances, it succeeded the module outcomes with some students forming friendships and professional relationships they intended to develop through collaborative projects based on identified shared interests later in the academic year. An unforeseen outcome to the pilot was the overwhelming elective response from the students to respond to their chosen challenges with ideas that were altruistic or address social and environmental concerns. While some of the projects had the potential to be commercially profitable and all had to plan for economic sustainability, Nearly all proposals were designed by the students to be structured as a charity or not-for-profit organisation. The one student group in the whole of the second year who proposed a commercial outcome had lengthy discussions and disagreements on whether profit-making was desirable or could be detrimental to the project's aims. The students' empathy for the challenges they selected related to their politicised ideals and gave them an ownership of and affiliation to the responses that they developed. The pilot also brought into question the assumption that in order to develop entrepreneurial skills, art and design need to exclusively learn from existing business models. Business mentors involved in the project's delivery were impressed by the empathetic and creative responses of the art students to real-world problems, and both business mentors and art and design students benefited from the experience, finding areas of common ground and also divergent thinking that fostered creativity. Catherine and Penaluna recently identified how business education can learn from pedagogical models such as the crit used in art and design education. And this pilot suggested that the relationship between art and business can benefit from a less dichotomist, more symbiotic and dialogue-based relationship for the benefit of both parties. In the long term, the pilot AHA project at UWTSD has provided an Increased capacity for arts and humanities entrepreneurship education. New spaces for cooperation with the business sector. Boosted student graduate employment and entrepreneurial opportunities. Created a cross fertilisation between business, academia and students. Raised the possibility for business innovation workshops, innovation and disruptive positive change. Skills embedded within business and academic institutions to best foster graduate talent. The concluding remarks from Dr. Mark Cox, Assistant Dean, Academic and Marketing, Wales Institute for Science and Art. Preparing our students for the range of portfolio careers within the creative industries is paramount to our learning and teaching philosophy here at Swansea College of Art. We believe that it is essential that our students develop their creative personality alongside their artistic practice in order to successfully enhance future graduate prospects. Therefore, this innovative project enables our students to appreciate and extend their inherent creative abilities. Please visit the AHA online portal for open access resources related to this project, including selection of challenge funds. The AHA partnership welcomes the opportunity to broaden its network and invites others to get in touch to see how they might collaborate. For further information on Swansea College about EWTSD, please visit our website or contact us directly.